Now we're getting into chapter 4, which is mainly articles 400 through 490. Now we have uh, previously looked at uh, chapter 1, 100 series, chapter 2, 200 series, chapter 3, 300 series. Now we're reviewing chapter 4, the 400 series or, uh, that we want to review. Now notice uh, motors fall in chapter 4, article 430. Air conditioners, compressors fall in article 440. Transformers fall in article 450 and so forth. But now notice we have a three-phase motor there that we've already designed everything for. It's 25 horse, 28 volt, design B. And if we were replacing that motor, and it was an old U-frame, and we were replacing it with a T-frame, we'd have to go to four, Article 430 to perform such a task. Notice that the overloads would have to be usually changed out if you change voltages and so forth in accordance with 430.32A1 uh, with uh, uh, sizing uh, overloads at the minimum value. And again, that gives you the minimum value uh, uh, to protect the motor, but you could drop the uh, overload down if it did the job. Now the overcurrent device uh, uh, shall be checked uh, if it's a transformer by 450.3A or B uh, and 450.14 uh, for the disconnect and, and the supply side and so forth. And that's what the transformer. But notice the transformer is replaced with a K-rated type transformer meaning that's usually for computer systems and sensitive type electronic equipment, and that's a replacement, so we go to 450 to do that. Notice the lighting. That electrician is changing the ballast. So, for example, since this is maintenance, it's already there, we would review uh, Article 24 of 70B, and it would refer you to 410.130E to change that ballast, it had to be a thermally protected type ballast. And then G says you'd have to provide a disconnecting means at the switch or have a separator uh, that you would unplug that comes with the ballast. And that would serve as your disconnect because once you change the ballast in an existing uh, lighting fixture that's not have a means for locking it out and putting it in a uh, safe uh, operating condition, locking, tagging it out, so to speak, uh, we would need to provide uh, such a uh, provision. Now, uh, what this section then is all about is that any type of equipment that falls in the general purpose equipment area of 400 through 490, say, uh, has to fall in the uh, uh, 400 series based upon what type of equipment? You said, what if, what if I'm changing out a capacitor? Then you'd go to Article 460. And the table of contents will list each article and every section that's under that article. So I could go to Chapter 4, and uh, it would list all the articles in the table of contents so I could zero in on the particular piece of equipment that I was either installing maintaining, maybe even designing, or inspecting. So chapter uh, four deals with this uh, type of equipment in accordance with figure 1-8.